all right what's going on guys we're back on hell divers 2 checking out another war bond that's just been released it's called democratic detonation so let's check it out and see what it looks like got a nice little squat pose there got a thermite grenade um and the trailer it has it it has the, the player throwing it on a charger, sticks to the charger, starts burning him. It's nice, it's high. Alright, first rifle we've got is the B14 adjudicator, a marksman's rifle. Does damage 80, capacity 25 shots, recoil 50, fire rate 55. It's medium penetrating, but dude, it only does 80 damage. Like, Come on. I, I, I don't even know. <laughs> All right. Hey, got some medium armor. Looks like medium armor here. Um, increases throw range by 30%, providing 50% into limb health. I kind of like the cape. That looks pretty good. Now this armor, it looks good. I, I like the look of this armor set. All right, so further reduces recoil and crouching or prone by 30%, increases initial inventory and holding capacity by grenades by two. That's decent. I, I, would, I would do that, I would try that. All right. Our booster. Lowers the time it takes for the extraction shuttle to reach the extraction beacon. Not bad. It's not something that I would choose to run with. There's other stuff that's better. Yeah, I won't be running with that emote. Alright. Our next gun is a premium explosive it's the RD, r36 eruptor does decent damage capacity five shots though that's that's extremely low like really low like you gotta change a clip every five shots you get what maybe six clips ah. It's medium penetrating, which is kind of good, and it's got an explosive trait, but uh, I'm not totally sold on this. This will have to be tried. This will have to be tried out to see if if it's worth it at, at most. I, I don't know. The courtly bow, I, I really don't like that one. Let's check out the third page. I kind of like the boxing emote. Alright, this is going to be some heavy armor. I, I I don't like the look of it. If I don't, and personally, if I don't like the look at, of it, no matter how good it is, I will not run it because that, that's just me. Um, Further reduces recoil and, when crouching and prone by 30% provides... 50% resistance to explosive damage. It's not bad. The, the armor was kind of ugly. Like, I don't know. Like a bad guy off a of Robocop or something. I, I don't know. I, I don't like it. Alright, our last gun is an explosive crossbow. Does 420 damage. 5 shot capacity. Recoil 35. Fire rate of 50. And all it has is an explosive trait. Uh. And then we have a grenade pistol. Now this I would use. It's one handed. It's explosive. Does 600 damage. One shot per reload. Recoil 43. Fire rate 900. Fire rate's 900. 
Huh. Okay. That, that's going to be interesting to test out. All right. So that's everything in the Premier Morbon. Um, I'll go over with you my preferred loadout right now. And then we'll call that it for this video. Now, barring the, the guns that we just seen, um, I've really been liking the Art Blitzer. If you're in a good team, it, it works really well. Also like the SGA Punisher right now for some reason. Um, and the incendiary it is, does decent damage now. The The, the sickle is still one of my top guns, like for real. Secondary weapons, there's really only one right now. Well, maybe two. You got the P19 Redeemer or the Senator. I still prefer the OG high explosive grenade. Um. If you're fighting robots, I've seen the G16 impact work pretty good on them. Um, especially for the heavier targets. When it comes to when it comes to your stratagems, let me get down here. Um, I still prefer the airstrike. Or the 500 kilogram. Um, if I'm fighting the bugs, I like the guard dog rover. If I'm fighting robots, I prefer the shield generator pack. Both cases, the quasar cannon it is the strongest gun right now. I really suggest that, whether it's chargers or heavies on the robot side, it, it works good. It does have a slow firing rate, though, so you need to learn how to swap your gun off. So it's not overpowered by any means. It's just the best gun, the best support weapon there is right now. Um, You got to learn how to swap off your guns, though. You need to learn to fire the Quasar. Swap tree primary, get a few rounds off, swap back to the quasar when the cooldown's finished. And then the last thing I really like is the EMS mortar. I think more people would be struggling less if they ran some EMS in their loadouts, but you know, that's just me. So that's pretty much my preferred loadout right now um it's worked all the way up to like a suicide difficulty as far as i could tell with no trouble so that's everything so you guys have a good one and i'll see y'all in the next one later